This video, I can already tell that this one's going to be controversial. Something I used to always think about for the game Shadow the Hedgehog is, what is the canon path? Out of all 326, what's that one path that just, it makes the most sense? I know I'm not the only one. Almost all of you have had the same question, and almost all of you have an answer that's different from someone else. Well, after a lot of thinking, here's my answer. And again, this is my answer. I'm not saying this is the answer to go with. This is how I view it. And I'm wondering, really curious actually, what you all think. So, let's get started. Stage one, Westopolis, no doubt about it, easy. I'll tell you right now, Shadow isn't doing the dark mission though. That's a no-go. There's just no way because the cutscene that comes right after that is Shadow completely submitting to Black Doom by agreeing to do what he says. Sure, he could ignore him in the next stage, but I don't see it, man. I, I just don't see it. For him to just be like, sure thing, dude. Genocide, let's do it, man, yeah! Like, no, I don't see that. Oh, and I access the United Federation's mainframe. Understand? Got it. But, with the cutscene that happens after the normal mission, I can see that happening. You've deliberately disobeyed me, Shadow. No one tells me what to do. I have my own reasons for collecting the Chaos Emeralds. No one tells me what to do? That's very Shadow. As for the cutscene after the hero mission, this could work, especially because of the next stage that's Lethal Highway. But I'm gonna have to go with no. The normal mission just makes too much sense. Shadow's told to get all seven Chaos Emeralds, and he says that it's the only way that he could figure out his past. The only way I'm gonna get the secrets to my past to get those chaos emeralds. So, at first, he will have horse blinders on and make a beeline for the emeralds. But then once he gets teleported to Glyphic Canyon, that's when his interest deviates a little. Uh, what? Where am I? I underestimated his powers. Hmm. There's definitely something going on out there. Now it's up to me to find out what they're up to. So we go from Westopolis to Stage 2, Glyphic Canyon. I don't think Shadow goes for the normal mission here. He seems too interested in Black Doom's plan, so the question is, does he do the Dark mission or the Hero mission? This time, I'm gonna have to go with Dark. Shadow wants to know what's up, so he's gonna play along with Black Doom's orders, you know? He's gonna just play along a little bit. Now the hero mission could work, it could. But what follows next just doesn't connect with how I see this path ending, which you'll see soon enough. I hope you see a trend here, you know? I try to go with what happens after you do said mission, because that's what really factors into how this canon path works. It's not just about what you do at the moment, but what follows after that moment. Stage three. Again, we just did the dark mission, so we're going to stage three, which is Cryptic Castle. Eggman passes by Shadow, and he gets very invested if he knows anything about his past. I can tell you right now, he ain't helping Eggman, and he ain't helping Amy. He plays along with Black Doom due to his strength and knowledge, and Shadow wants to know what he's up to. When it comes to Eggman, Shadow knows that he's just gonna dominate him and get answers. Like, come on now. Have you said, did you see the boss fight? <laughs> come on. As for Amy, Shadow isn't going to want to deal with distractions. He's on a mission to get to the doctor. Helping Amy isn't going to help him accomplish that. So, the normal mission wins this time. Stage 4, the Doom. So, we did a normal mission, so therefore we go to the Doom. And honestly, I believe that this is a flashback stage. And because it's a flashback stage, it has to be in the canon path. The Doom works better than Lost Impact does. We see a glimpse into the memory that Shadow keeps having of running away from Maria. So this has to show up eventually. Now, as for what mission he goes with, I'm gonna say the normal mission. He's not gonna kill everyone with Maria by his side. And his number one priority is keeping Maria safe. Also, even though we do heal people, I'm sorry to say, but I doubt, I doubt they got off the Ark. They most likely all died. So even if you did go off and heal them, they probably just got shot two seconds later. I'm sorry, but like, come on. So, normal mission wins here again. And because we did the normal mission, we're going to stage five, Air Fleet. This one is pretty easy. 
Shadow isn't going to try to kill the president. Even though if you do that mission, you see later on that there's a different plane that the president was in. So dark mission just isn't a thing here. Also, I just want to point out that Air Fleet has to be in the cannon path because you see that the president is with the GUN commander in um, the last way. So, therefore, the president did escape via aircraft. The only option here in Air Fleet is to just go for the Chaos Emerald by doing a normal mission due to the stage that would come right after. Shadow hasn't really cared about fighting black aliens so far in this path, and he still has no reason to care. All he wants are those emeralds. So doing the normal mission brings us to where I truly believe is the final stage of this path. Stage 6, Black Comet. I mean, come on people, it's in the name! The hero mission says to get to the center of the base, which is basically where you start at the last way. The dark mission ain't gonna happen because Shadow has no reason to help Doom kill GUN machines. There isn't going to be a boss here because beating any boss at the end of any path contradicts the last way. Maybe I could see the egg dealer getting beaten up, but mm, we know what happens after you destroy the egg dealer on Black Comet. Goodbye, Doctor. <laughs> so this is the cannon path. Normal mission at Westopolis, which brings us to doing a dark mission at Glyphic Canyon, which brings us to doing a normal mission at Cryptic Castle, which brings us to doing a normal mission at the Doom, then we do a normal mission at Air Fleet, and finally we go to Black Comet to do our hero mission. Our only hero mission. <laughs> Oh, this man truly is an anti-hero, huh? And that's that! I'm sure a lot of people have their own perspective, their own reasonings as to what the cannon path truly is. And you know what? I'm here for it! Tell me what you think the cannon path is, please! And I want to know your reasoning and everything, because I'm really curious to see what other way there possibly could have been, you know? Because like, G.U.N. Fortress, sorry, that ain't it fam. Black Comet makes the most sense. Lava Shelter? Really? Shadows and Android? We're gonna go with that? <laughs> okay. Um, Cosmic Fall? Maybe? Possibly? But, like, not exactly? You know? Like, no, I, I, I just... No, no. And then there's, um... Oh god, what's it called? Uh, Final Haunt. Now, I could see that. I could. But it just seems a little too much of, yeah, let's go beat up Black Doom. Yeah, we're here, we're here. Either you're gonna beat up Black Doom or you're gonna beat up Sonic. It's one or the other. There is no in between with the Final Haunt. So, Black Comet makes the most sense, to me at least. Tell me what you think in the comment section down below. I'll catch you all later. Look at my shirt. It's freaking awesome. Haters gonna hate. And my hat. Have a nice rink day. See you all next time.